It looks like the kidnappers made a big, big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. I told Lynn what I had found about the kidnapping. That it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they had sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla, why would, why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister. I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. Looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl, kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution? It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists too. Like the kidnappers winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could be just coincidence and them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, Detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Ah. How can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please! If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everyone, everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make that it's not my daughter? Whoa, well, wait. That's quite a pickle there, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Miss me, baby. Inspector Cabanella. I have a little rapport for you, Mr. Minister. The escape prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Detective Jowd? Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry. I tried... I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and a student. It brings a tear to my eye. Hello guys and welcome to TG on the Game Nerd The Shore. I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead we went ahead and saw a ton of things. First of all, we went over to the kidnappers, found out that they had not kidnapped the Justice Minister's daughter, but Detective Jowd's daughter. We also found out that the old abandoned place that they had uh, holed up in was Camilla's old house. And that place had a contraption that Camilla made to, that accidentally killed Camilla's mom. And that's the reason that Jowd uh, has taken the fall for his wife's death. And also, that same contraption is the one that we found in the super's office over in the junkyard, which killed Lynn one of the times ago. And also, one little thing that some of you may have noticed is that... The place that Camilla went to to get to Dead End Drive to get to the Chicken Kitchen earlier is called Temzik Park. Now, very early in the Let's Play, you'll remember that someone else mentioned Temzik. We'll see what Temzik has to do with this whole thing a little later. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. Flynn doesn't really know that Jowd is innocent. 
She just believes it from the bottom of her heart. The execution and the kidnapping are real threats and time marches on. I'll gather information and see if I can think of something. This all relates back to me somehow. I just know it. Let me go ahead and hear this first. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? The execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jowd could never have done such a thing. <laughs> oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty, and two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here. To brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. So were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lin. But Detective Jowd... I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... but... There are quite a few people to talk to here. First of all, oh poor Amelie, is she all right? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, Amelie? Could that be the Amelie next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me, my wife. It's a uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart, what with him being so busy. Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me inside my own head. According to what I heard, Ali was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But Amelie didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh, and so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead? Uh, apparently, Amelie and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh, right, you asked to bring her that music box. Camilla... So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution, tonight. <laughs> I had no idea I was so hated. But the Minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the Minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be! And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Ulma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. You're a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It just brings her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. Is it true? What Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? To be honest, I still don't understand what happened to this day. It was my wife's... Alma's birthday. We came home from work, and she went in first. Hmm. 
Mom, Mom. What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. The little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. It made an impossible move. An impossible move. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right, that was an antique gun I'd had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. Gun, eh? Come to think of it. There's no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I can't believe what she told me about her contraption. But one thing was for certain, that gun was still smoking. The gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put, in a w I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? Y you mean... And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convinced everyone of. Even me. But tonight you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day, in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about the, those powers. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jowd? There's still some time before dawn. A little, anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Detective Jowd, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd, and of course, Lil Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Temzik Park. Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You'd better go pick it up. 
Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Sissel, take care of Detective Jowd. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Didn't we eat the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate? A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. The van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape to now was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Death Row inmate? I'm glad to see Detective Jowd all fired up now, but I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lynn does come through with the proof to Detective Jowd's innocence, it will be meaningless if Jowd or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about that kidnapping, somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter's the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one, I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? I doubt his wife is ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right. But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? What I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost? Yes? I have to admit I don't like depending on others, but you're the only one who can change this situation. Gee, Detective. For these past five years, Camilla is the only thing that has kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. But is there a way? Indeed there is. Let's see if we can talk to you one more time. Excuse me, Mr. Minister? I can't hear you. La 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 la. I'm sure you heard everything we've been saying. Are you telling me you don't believe any of it? Let me speak plainly. I don't trust you. But there's somebody else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah? Who's that? Me? I can't explain your existence. It's not normal, but I'm pretty abnormal myself. So maybe you're a figment of my imagination. A delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? To be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. I got the bit about you not trusting me, though. Good. Well, hanging around here won't change anything. I've got 10 minutes before the prison man shows up. If I could just do something about the kidnapping in those 10 minutes, I guess the telephone lines are my only hope. Just as I thought. 
This little girl is safe in her bed. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long chain of a sad fate lit a fire in Jowd's heart, and the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight is related back to me in some way, and I bet this mistaken ridden abduction does too. 